What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great Friday today. So, in my opinion, Baton Rouge beats are some of the most unique beats that you can make. Pretty much just due to all the, like, the different sounds and complexity that's made just inside of one beat. And at times, it can be a little bit, like, hard to, like, knowing where to start with these kind of beats and knowing what sounds to use. So, pretty much in this video, I'm going to be going over step-by-step that you guys can make melodic Baton Rouge beats for artists like Youngboy, TJ Comis, Fredo Bang, pretty much all these Baton Rouge rappers who, like, make a lot of music with that modern Baton Rouge sound. I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to make that. So anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so we're in FO Studio here. As far as the tempo setting goes, like you can really be versatile with it. I've made beats from like the 110 range all the way to the 180 range for these kind of beats. So it's kind of just up to you and, and what kind of melody and vibe you want to start with for these kind of beats. And I'm in Xenology here and I have this sound. Kind of like a piano and e-piano mixed together. And one thing I really love about BR beats specifically is that you can be really versatile with how you start off. Like you don't have to stick to a really certain sound. Like you can even like start off with like walls or miscellaneous sounds and stuff like that. You can find drum kits. All right, so before I even start off this beat, I need to say like getting a Baton Rouge drum kit, like a good Baton Rouge drum kit is going to be an essential for these kind of beats. You can get away with like finding like some of the essential drum kits that you need for these kind of beats, like on YouTube and Reddit, like all the free ones. But if you really want like the rare sounds and like the sounds that these top BR producers are using then you have to invest into yourself and just go cop one that leads me to this new drum kit from my bro Skio. he just made this brand new BR drum kit which has over 200 total sounds in the style of NBA Youngboy and Baton Rouge style drums and as you can see down here it has all the essentials that you need for these kind of beats and pretty much every single sound in here is not something that you're going to find in a free kit everything in this kit is either really rare or it's brand new that he just made himself so I definitely suggest this drum kit as something to look into if you guys are going to buy BR our drum kit and skio has two other drum kits as well this one and this one right here i have both of them and those two are also really good options when it comes to band rouge sounds and rare sounds and just band rouge drums in general so i definitely go check out those two as well but specifically for this brand new one that he uploaded if you guys end up copying it you guys can use the promo code lucen apply and you guys will get 20 percent off so the link is going to be in the bio if you guys want to go check out his brand new kit or any of the other kits that he has and i'll be of course using the sounds that he has in his brand new kit for the beat that i'm going to be making so link in bio if you guys want to go check it out i just said link in bio <laughs> My bad, link in description if y'all want to go check it out. So once you have your like main sound that you want to start off with, pretty much, I like to start off with the root notes for these kind of beats. So I have my root note pattern down. Let's give this a listen. Just play this for y'all. Pretty much anything that just has like a groove or rhythm to it, like is gonna be good for a root note pattern. And then after this, you just wanna pretty much just build on. Pretty much just adding chords here. Okay, so I pretty much should have like the basic foundation of this down. I'm just gonna keep on adding more to this and maybe like taking some notes and putting them down an octave or raising them up an octave. All right, so we got a progression down now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do some Alt R and I'm gonna randomize the velocity here, make it sound a little bit more realistic. And then I'm gonna take everything, shift down the velocity just a little bit. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of strum. All right, so now I'm gonna clone Xenology and I think I'm just gonna layer this sound with something else. If I can't really find anything, then I'm just gonna add on to like more of the root notes to make it sound more prominent.
All right, so next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to x and I'm gonna get a base from there. In Skios Key, he has a few x presets and it seems that five of them are bases, so I'm just gonna try and experiment with some of these. All right, we got our bass sound. One thing that I like to do is I like to shorten some of the notes. So I'll pretty much just take everything and then I'll just go to none and then just shorten them to how I want them. Also raise up the tempo. So next I'm gonna to go to purity. Right now I'm kind of getting like more of like a clean smooth vibe with this. So I wanna kind of keep that same tone. I don't wanna like go too aggressive with it and like add a really hard piano or anything. Alright, so now that we have our lead, I'm gonna just add a couple more like real actual instruments from VSTs and then we're gonna start to move on to like the stuff that you can get in the drum kits like walls and miscellaneous sounds and stuff like that. So I'm gonna add like a kodo or like a harp, something like that to just add a little bit of bounce to it. harp for this. Alright, so next I'm going to go to Analog Lab. I think this is going to be one of my last instruments for this. I just kind of want to find a plug to add a little bit more bounce to this. Actually, I'm gonna clone Purity again and I'm gonna try and get another lead. All right, so I'm gonna get this lead right here, but I'm gonna route it to channel one and then I'm gonna add a one half BT gate to it. But first, let's get our pattern down for it. So now that we have all of our instruments down, now we can start to move on to like the drum kits and all the walls and miscellaneous stuff that you can put in there. So I'm gonna go to Skills Drum Kit and I'm just pretty much gonna pick a wall that I think is gonna fit for this. This wall and this Bloody Night wall. If you don't know, Skill produced Bloody Night from NBA Youngboy, and this is the wall that he used in it, hence the name Bloody Night. So next I'm gonna get this wall, or not this wall, but this Vox. This Vox is also an exhale, so if you have that, then you can get this sound exactly from exhale. So now I'm gonna go to his other two kits and I'm gonna find some sounds from there. I'm just gonna get a couple essential sounds to use. So I'm gonna get this trunk stabs and then I'm also gonna route it to channel one.
All right, so now we're gonna start to finally move on to the drums now that we have all of our sounds and pretty much all of our melodies down. So again, for this, you're gonna need a good drum kit. So once you get a good drum kit, then I'd first start off with the 808. Usually for the 808s, like there's like some version of a Zay 808 and some version of a Spins 808 that just hits really hard. That's what a lot of producers use. This is one of my favorite ones. So we're just gonna tune this and then we're gonna just follow the same notes as our bass. bar loop for the drums because we already have our melodies which are pretty complex and I don't want to really make it too complex even though a lot of BR beats are like really complex like I want to make it too complex you know find a hi-hat from his other kid. gonna try and tune this cymbal. It's usually like a good idea to tune your cymbals, especially for these kind of beats, because I kind of see it as like part of the melody almost, and having an attitude cymbal with like the whole beat just, it's not the best look. I'm gonna get this kick and put some reverse polarity on it. try and find like a drum fill to just put at the end of here and that is going to wrap it up y'all thank y'all for watching all the way to the end i very much appreciate it hope that this tutorial helped you out with how to make baton rouge and young boy style beats and again shout out to skill for the kit make sure that y'all go check out his kit and his other two drum kits that he made down in the description below but that's going to wrap it up for me y'all i'll catch y'all in the next video coming very soon but until then i'm out